Hey folks, it's Frithgar here, how you doing? Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. So this it's going to be warm in here, that's, that's fine. And that will now start filling up the water. The rest of this will start filling up the water as well. I'm fine with that, but that will keep the steam in this area. That's all I'm after. And this is now where, like the, the steam up here, this, this has cooled down drastically. So the whole area is cooling down, apart from all these temp shift plates in here, which is keeping this water going. Okay, I've got to keep a close eye on that and have to come back to it to make sure that's working properly. So this is the advice that was given by uh, Argamis, I think it was, who gave me that advice on how to make that work properly. And it does indeed look like it's working properly. Up here, the steam is coming off of here like we're getting... Little patches of this is turning the steam. It's coming up here against all of these wheeze warts and our radiant liquid pipes that we've got in here. And if we look at the temperature, that's down to 70 degrees in there now. With the wheeze warts and the pipes going round, we then go back down to here. The temperature of the water coming out is now down to 30 degrees. Considerably cooler than it was earlier. That's good. That is absolutely fantastic. That means that this is working as we want. Our only problem is that this one is not working as I want, so I'm going to have to do one slight alteration on this, and that is going to be radiant pipe in there, and that is going to have to go out there, like that, and join it in there like that. So we'll put radiant pipe in there, and that means it will have the water at 70 degrees coming out through. And it's going to cool it. It's going to keep up on the cooling loop. It's only going to 70 in here. So that should be just enough to keep that cool in there. And that is a priority 9 build. So we get that going through. And once I've done this bit, then I'm free to go back to working on the, the space stuff. We will be able to go and work on the space stuff properly. So we've got, yeah, overheat damage there. That's... That's the only bit now that we're having trouble with. Everything else seems to be working as we would want it to work. Some radiant pipe damage there. Never mind that. Go to plumbing overlay. We need these pipes to hurry up and be fitted. So that we can then remove that one piece of pipe there. One more. Right, they've done. They kind of loop, they're, they're looping around, they're taking two of them. We don't want that happening. I want that one to deconstruct there. You are going to remove that one, aren't you? Splitting and going like that is really bad because it puts two different temperatures on the water and then it puts two different temperatures on the water down here, which messes up. Now it's not doing that. That's good. So now we're going to have it getting to this point. It's going in at 56. 59. It's not going to cool drastically in here. I, it, once it removes the bulk of that temperature from there, it's going to change back. I mean, yeah, it's a little bit warmer, but it's still in the 70s rather than any higher than that, which is absolutely perfect. This is all completely underwater here. Uh, Max is currently scolding. Let's have a look at the temperature overlay. Right, we've got warm temperatures in the base just here. There's 100 degrees right there in the base. So we're going to now need to have a look around the base a little bit for potentially uh, just running the odd loop here and there to help cool things down. And this is going to be one of those loops. So we're going to take the water that's coming up here, that's going straight into that storage and, and basically heading on up to cool everything up the top. And we're going to extend that loop out a little bit. Now I know I've got a load of water in here and it's not quite doing what I want it to do there. I've got, I've got enough water in here. I've got dirty water coming in through here. These are going well. This, the, the cooling water that's coming in, that's going to start backing up pretty soon. It's reached this point here, which is kind of sitting. And yeah, that's good, right? It's, it's getting there. We're getting big slugs of this and it's backing up. 
which means that the entire thing is going to back up to this point up here, and then we're going to have the cooling loop engage coming in down that way, and then that's going to join back into the whole network, which goes in over here, and it runs back up through there. That's my main cooling loop up through there, and it's because I don't have that cooling loop doing anything at the moment that uh, none of it's working. That's why I've got all these scalding temperatures going on. So, don't actually need to make any changes. I just got to be aware that the, I, I know, so I know why the cooling is not working. I know why things aren't going well. Uh, the cooling loop is going to take a bit to actually engage, but it's already started. It has already started. I've got the water coming down. This is going to explode in here for a bit. I'm hoping that it will get through there without actually breaking the pipe. Some of it has got through. All right. Looks like we're getting through this radiant pipe without completely destroying it. It's not brilliant because I still I don't have enough water coming back down through at the moment, but it's getting close, especially now where we're kind of like bulking this up properly. So I got a full supply of water going up, which means I've also got a full supply of water coming back down. Look at that. That's just clean, pure water. It's a solid stream of water running through there without any let up whatsoever. And then we've got the cooling loop running in through. And that's also going to help. So that'll go up this way and cool down some of this, although that is going to blow up first as well. And there's way more cooling water on its way. And it's at a reasonable temperature. Now I want to just wait and watch now. It's every time it's it's here. This is the main area that we're getting scalding happening, and now we've got this water coming up here. That's going to start cooling down. It, there's an area right there. I think we're going to need to change that. Go back to the temperature overlay. This is this is too hot in here. So I think I am actually going to need to just include another little bit of a cooling loop in there. Which isn't gonna, it doesn't take much to add something like that in. We've already got several of the seat. They go to there and then we get a scolding alarm. So I can easily deal with that. I can bring a radiant pipe made of copper across there. Bring it back there and then I can do another radiant here and here and loop it back in there and that's on a priority nine so they're going to very quickly run in here it's seven people being scolded while they work in his hot environment so it will get them to go and do that really really quickly uh, but it's gonna it's gonna start cooling it down almost immediately i can first i can go and remove that bit of liquid pipe in there and i've also got the um, that one can there also be de deconstructed, and that one's out. And now we can have a look at the temperature. So, there. That's already going to be cooling it down. The water right there is at 70 degrees. And with it being a radiant pipe, it is very quickly going to pull that temperature out, and it is going to cool this down. At least to a reasonable kind of... I mean, it, it's still 50 degrees, that water. But this this is a lot better than it was. It's already improved that little tiny bit. Building entombment. Needs to be dug out. Yeah, we know all about that. We, we got... Look how much damage has happened up here. With us not really doing anything up here. Right, this is absolutely insane i've got shove bowls in here now this is they're tame and they're fed so they're laying eggs but they're not um they're tame and they're laying eggs they're not being fed but that's actually fine it does they will keep producing food although my food levels are starting to come down a bit aren't they we're going to have to pay attention to that. We might want to try and get some eggs being incubated with these in order to 
make them last a bit longer. But from what I've read, you can just leave these in a starve farm and just, just like, just let them keep going like that. Uh, that solar panel is currently not going to do anything at all, even in the daytime. So our next task is to start going back and rebuilding the robo miners that we've got in here. Now, I don't want to do gold amalgam. I've been told that copper is a better option. You get more copper meteors than you do any of the others. Let's double check this one. I want to make sure this is working exactly perfectly. I don't want any mistakes. I want to better walk away and leave this. 86 degrees, and that is a pretty steady, consistent, constant 86 degrees coming out of there. And then if we look down here, we have a consistent, constant 45 degrees coming out of there. I would prefer to have that cooler. I would prefer to have a lower temperature, 88 to 46 in there. Is this not going to be sufficient cooling running through these three aqua tuners? Do I need to have one more aqua tuner out over this side and extend this out a bit further and get more wheeze warts and just make this loop a little bit bigger? I don't know. Because all like I'm starting to lose wheeze warts on here. And as soon as I lose wheeze warts... That temperature is 95.6. The steam is starting to come up. It's starting to build up. Do I want to work out in space or do I want to keep working on this? I Another thing that I've got to be very aware of is the raw mineral that I've got. We're on 340 tons of granite. So we're running out of time for the stone hatch thing. Right? There's only so much stone we've got in here. Not enough steam generator idle, steam temperature below. Yeah, that's fine. It's not going to make any differences. This in here, that steam's actually gotten too hot now. But the temperature in here is starting to come down a bit. i got water. That's still running out through there. Generator idle, the steam is low temperature. You erupt in three cycles, so you'll keep going. Uh, here, we don't have enough slime. I have got pockets of slime that I can harvest, which we could do stuff with. I've got... Here, they are in sick beds because they had issues. I've got printables available. Let's choose another one. Uh, no strength, creativity. Okay, I'm not going to use those, so I'm going to take 2,000 litres of clean water. Uh... So what is what what am I gonna do? What what is my options? I bottle emptier right here. I'm gonna add some more water in here. I'm gonna take salt water and not polluted water. Brine and regular water. I'll add that in there so that it dumps it into that one. So there's got a little bit of water coming in. I've got that one down there is a copper volcano that's just quietly operating over in the corner and for the most part we can ignore that one. I think what we need to do is we need to add in another set of stuff that we've got here. So I need to extend this out a little bit further. Now whether or not having those insulated tiles makes any difference whatsoever, I don't think it does. I don't think that makes any difference to anything at all. But what will make a difference is how we go and build stuff here. Now having a double layer of tiles I think is something that we want on this, but quite how we set those tiles up, but uh, yeah, that's, that's kind of like where things differ. So, we'll go over this side and we'll extend it out a bit. So we're going to go, we'll leave that ladder for a minute and we'll work on the rest of this. So I'm going to put insulated tile out to there. I'm going to want, basically, here I want a knock gate. I want uh, the liquid pipe thingy. I want automation. 
So I've got these pipes joined together. I've got automation wire on there, reg signal, prevent liquid flow, and then we've got the shutoffs, and we've got these. I'm essentially looking at one, two, three, four spaces. So here, one, two, three, four, and then I want two for that one right there. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. So that's going to be the outside edge. I'm going to leave one gap like I've got over there out on that edge. So let's just double check that again. One, two, three, four, five, six, and then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Yes, okay. Uh, I want to go one more tile here. I got igneous rock that I'm using for that. So that tile is going to go to there. That's the outside edge of my pond. I'm going to dig out these bits. They've got to go. I'll remove those two. And I'll remove those two. And then I'll take uh, base tile. Uh, no, I don't want to remove that one. Yeah. Base tile. And I'll put tile out there like that. Right, there's a start. I've got things being built in there. We've got this coming up. And I'm basically going to put a, a seal in over here. I've got a wheeze ward up there. I'm not going to try and get that one that is out in the great outside. I'm no, I have no interest whatsoever in trying to get that. I don't want to do that. Now, the wheeze wart situation, maybe I won't have radiant pipe running through this. So I'd like to get more wheeze warts in here and spread this out even further and have three times as many wheeze warts. But whether it's still going to work with the steam and act, you look how fast it is turning, it's boiling this and turning it into steam. It's doing it at a very high rate of knots. So I kind of got to work with that. I want to deconstruct those in there and then I want to go with base building and it's going to come out this side uh, one more insulated tile there and and I'll go with regular tile here and that's going to go up to that point there and then I'm going to take the ladder here and I'll bring it up there, and we'll we'll dig off the the wall from it. So and go out by you can reach two out the side of the ladder. So then one, two, and I want to go there. I'll dig up to there, so that ladder can go here. Let's just hope that we don't like dig too far. Should be fine. And run that all the way down to there and then that all the way down to there like that so they'll be able to get through all of it plus they'll be able to go and build that wall all the way up and then we'll remove this and start digging in some extra bits so i got a, a few extra pieces that i'm going to want to construct i'm also going to go in this side i'm going to dig that out there i'm going to dig out that one and I'm going to dig out that one so I've got another wheeze wart that we'll be able to get to in a minute. This is definitely not working quite as in, although I did previously just lift the wheeze warts and that cooled them all down and then altered the temperature enough that we could go and do it all exactly as we wanted. So all i got to do in here is I've just got to copy these settings. So that one doesn't need any... I've got that thermal one at 16.9, that one is 16.9... That's all I need to do. I just need to copy those. Now, is there a copy-paste function in this? I don't think there is a copy-paste function. I don't think copy-paste is a thing, actually. It's a little bit of a shame, but that's that's all right. That's all, we can live with that. Uh, dig now. I want to dig. Dig. Dig those out. That bit. I really want to dig that one out, but I'd have to dig these out as well. And I don't want to dig into that because that could potentially put me out into space, which I don't want to do. So I'm not going to take that risk. I will dig here and here. And that one. And here. And there. And we will dig those. Plus that one. We will take a deconstruction tool and we will deconstruct that. 
So I'm removing everything all the way down through this now. And that as well. Everything there is being removed. And then I've got the ladder coming up in here. It's just going to make it easier than going in through that way to do all of the digging. But this is very rapidly all turning into steam. And yeah, it's getting a little bit difficult in here. And I don't want that. I've got. I've now got a bit of water in here, which means that this is slowly turning into steam in here. Uh, I'll leave it. I won't do anything with it at the minute, but it, things could change on there. Yeah, look at that. Look how rapidly it's filling up with steam all the way up to the very top. And I don't necessarily want it filling all the way up to the very top, which is why I'm putting in two additional coolant things. Whether that's going to work, is it, it, this, it's a gamble. There's absolutely no question it is a gamble, but is this a gamble that's going to pay off? Only time will tell. I'm not going to change anything up there. That can stay as it is, and we can just kind of keep working with stuff the way that we've been working with stuff. I've got ladder there, which I'll probably want when I come to digging off all of the rest of the stuff. I've got bits of granite being delivered. More granite picking up. So we, we've got some digging going on. I've got a load of water here that's rushing down through and being dropped. Gallons of water pouring into here and filling up the pool again. There is masses of water pouring down this way. So that's working well in there. I've got... All of the outer space stuff. Like, I went and built all of this. I got it all set up. And now I'm pretty much ignoring it. My calorie count, though, is slowly deteriorating. And that is a slight concern. That is ever such a slight concern. I do need to keep an eye on that. Uh, something that I am going to do is... I'm gonna, I know what I'm going to do. I've got this puffed right here. So we're going to go and we're going to turn this we're, we're going to like try and make this a little bit more uh, puffed friendly in here I'm going to put an incubator in here for a start I drop that bad boy right in there and then we're going to go with uh, airborne critter bait uh, critter feeder fish feeder so critter feeder what does a puffed eat Puffs, if I remember correctly, the puffs, we don't have to worry about what they eat. Right here, it's the the Paku Pit uh, Puffs. Let's just have a look at these. Easy creature raised, first time handers, gives a holy, amiable, dispositions and suggestible nature. Right, the diet is polluted oxygen, and they excrete slime. So I don't actually have to feed them, because they eat polluted oxygen. I don't have to worry about that bit. I would like to turn this into a kind of like a sealed doorway, uh, so that I don't have too much hydrogen coming in through. And so that's another little bit that we will go and build. We will put a uh, tile in here. So I've got a bit of tile going in there like that. And a bit of tile going down there like that. And then we'll have ladder that will go along here. We want to remove that there that's gone completely and oh one more thing ladder here like this that tile is actually going to go all the way up there like that and that ladder is going to go all the way up there like that right that that's better and and this is they, they'll have suits on to do this anyway so that'll be absolutely fine. It's not going to cause me any problems. Tile. I'll turn that into tile all the way across there as well. And then they can fill all of this up. And I'll change this over here to a mesh tile. There, like that. Gold amalgam. I'll put gold amalgam in here. I go with a mesh tile all the way across there. 
And there. And there. And uh, we'll cancel that one and those. Right. And we've got these in here. So now, any hydrogen is not going to go back out of here. It's just going to go into this bit up here. We'll have the polluted oxygen in here. I'm going to have an incubator right there, and that's going to be with an eggshell. I'm also going to have a station, and that is going to be a grooming station right there. I'm going to put that one down in here, and... That will basically mean that I've got, you know, I might be able to get the puffs in here. I don't know if that's going to work or not. I, I, I have absolutely no idea. But I've got the puff and I've got the incubator right in there. No eggs selected. I'll get eggs selected for that one. Plus, I'm also going to want power. So if I take that one over there and I go with the conductive wire, we go with a heavy watt joint plate and I will pop that one through the wall right there. I'll have a heavy watt conductive wire. Which is going to be made from copper. And that's going to run in that way. And it's going to run in that way as well. There. Right there. So that will jump back in through there. Scolding. Why are you scolding? What are you scolding from? Oh. Oh. Oh, they're going up here. They're gathering up the copper that's really, really hot. They're trying to pick it up, and that's what's burning them. Ah. Well, that's interesting. How can I deal with that? Can I put... I've got an idea for that, actually. I just had an idea. We can have storage in here. See, that's that's what they're doing. They're, they're trying to pick up this really hot copper and they're burning themselves on the copper that they're trying to pick up I genuinely didn't expect that to even be a thing I, I really genuinely did not expect that to be a thing that is quite amazing so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get water because I think if you bring water out into the vacuum it does kind of siphon off so we don't want the water somewhere else. I'm going to want the water in here. And I'll get them to put the stuff into storage in these areas. I, I need to focus on this first. They're not doing the digging in here because the digging is not the high priority stuff. Digging used to be high pro. They're, they're, doing, they're doing the building right now. So they'll bring the copper up to this point. But they're not bringing the copper. They're, they're, they're getting the copper to there. And then they're dropping it because it's too hot for them. That's not good. Yeah, that's, that's, that's actually really bad. Right, well, I mean, they're, they're working on this. We, we've only got one little bit of that left. Now, that's outside of stable. Does that mean it can't be used? Uh, this building must be built inside a stable for full functionality. So if I go to the room overlay right in... Well, unfortunately, that's all we've got time for for a little while. We need to let the replicants rest. So if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And I am just going to drag out this farewell just a tiny little bit. Just so that there is enough space and time on the screen to put up a couple lots of you absolutely wonderful supporters of the channel. You should be seeing some of your names coming up now. So until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye and see you later.